but we move on to a fatal four-way matchup between Kenny Calypso, El Valdivia, Maximus Stone P.I., and Holy Roger. Chaos is gonna ensue with these four individuals here in this matchup. Fatal four-ways are always fun. It's like being in a war, pretty much. You just have a uh, short null and all sorts of identified flying objects flying at your face the entire time. You're gonna have to have eyes in the back of your head. Fatal four-way meaning one fall to a finish. Pin or submission. Between four young men who are extremely hungry, and I would say in much need of a win. Agreed, each of these individuals. Each of these individuals looking back to get in the win column. And trying to build momentum and make a case for themselves here at Texas Contender Series to be in on those top level matches. Valdivia making his way into the ring as he awaits his one of his three opponents here tonight. We got the eight day back here again. Uh, I've told I've told Dan before we need to have a cap on this song. Well, I hope you like it because they seem to play it every single time and they win a lot. So uh, this song is. Uh, making his way out once more, playing a role earlier tonight here in Father O'Day's matchup. But as always, Holy Roger gives me the verse of the night before his matchups. Chapter 28, line 158, verse 888. He says, no matter how many there are, with the power of the eighth day, you can take on nations of heathens. I suppose the heathen speaking about his opponents here tonight. Well, those are pretty mighty words from Holy Roger. Let's see if he can back it up here in the ring tonight. And uh, you notice, uh, no eighth day involvement here. Holy Roger looks like he's gonna do it here on his own. As you see, Holy Roger asking for the power. He may need it. Because he has three opponents. And, and you're right, Nick. I'm quite surprised that he came out alone. Maybe it's Holy Roger trying to prove something to himself, perhaps. Well, it's time to be on the case. On the case is right. This individual right here always has an eye out for things going on in Texas Contender Series. Maximus Stone P.I. We've heard some strong words from Max of the Stone P.I. on social media early this week about his opponents in this matchup. He's looking to clean up the Texas Contender Series. Taking out these three individuals so far. Unfortunately, he's been unsuccessful, but looking to make a statement with these, with these three individuals, a fatal four-way victory. It's got to put him in some, some conversations. Absolutely. Uh, this is a great opportunity and uh, pumped himself up, as you said, on social media over the past couple of days. Uh, had some derogatory words to say about uh, Holy Roger and Kenny Calypso. And, and uh, oh, and speaking of the devil, Kenny Calypso and El Valdivia. Very much another fan favorite here in Houston Premier Arena. Kenny Calypso from Planet Tread. I believe the ring announcer said the pineapple or two. 
Oh, absolutely. Kenny Calypso always a good, brings a good time here to Houston Premier Arena. One of the uh, favorites here in the building. Absolutely. And among the Houston faithful, former uh, Premier Wrestling Federation champion himself in his own right. I mean, so, Kenny, Kenny had his own show not too long ago here in this building with Tiki Mania. Really, I didn't hear about it. But I did hear it was a nice little show, and you can watch it on IWTV right now. Just click on that WrestleRave tab if you'd like. Kenny Calypso, former, former world champion in this matchup. Uh, El Valdivia, former Lone Star champion in the PWF organization. Got to believe those two have an advantage going into this matchup, but you know with these fatal four ways, anything, anything really can happen. You got to have eyes in the back of your head. Well, this will be uh, quite the uh, matchup here. Fatal four way. You really got to have eyes in the back of your head here, as uh, Maximus Stone PI obviously did not. Nope, not right there. Holy Roger trying to get in the head of him early. Looks like Holy Roger and Valdivia trying to negotiate an alliance. Well, that's not, that's probably the smart thing to do in a fatal four-way. You know, take out your two opponents and fight amongst yourselves. But fatal four-way rules. First fall to a finish here. No Valdivia going after Stone. Stone sidestepping him, and Roger with a stiff shot to Kenny, and they're trading blows right there in the middle of the ring. And look on the outside. We got uh, Stone and uh, Valdivia on the outside. Nobody home on those close lines from Calypso. Roger going for a big high knee on Kenny Calypso. Kenny goes out the ring, but Roger's full of himself right now, but Stone's right there waiting for him. Oh, beautiful. Drop look down right there by Stone. Big leapfrog right there, and a hip toss Ooh. from Maximus Stone, private eye. Very impressive. Every time I see him in the ring, gets a little better, and that's what this is all about. A big body slam right there. Stone with a big elbow in the center of the ring. Right in the heart. Maximus Stone feeling the momentum, but Roger's Ooh. right there pulling him in the middle of the rope. Here comes Roger with a big clothesline right there on Max Stone. Cover. The cover. Kick out. Just gotta make sure we could be here all night with these four guys going at it. Oh, Kenny Calypso right into it. It's like one oh. man out, another man in. Like I said, you gotta have eyes on the back of your head. You never know what can happen in these fatal four-way matchups. So you see Roger trying to preach on to Kenny Calypso. Kenny not having it as Roger gives him a big clothesline in the corner. Roger asking for the power, but nobody's home right there in the corner. Here comes Kenny. Head of steam, a giant European uppercut into the corner from Calypso. Snap mare right there into the middle of the ring. Here comes Kenny off the ropes. And there's this running snap mare. That's got to torque the back and the neck right there of Holy Roger. Yeah, Kenny Calypso is a man that has just been so impressive and is improving with every out. Every ounce of ring time he's getting. Oh, man. Look at the height on that elbow drop right there to cover. This could be it early. But there's that Valdivia to break it up. Former well, Lone Star champion obviously knows what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. El Valdivia, another individual we've seen with a change in attitude. Really embracing his uh, Chicago upbringing. But Kenny Calypso, don't let the smile and the fun times fool you. He can go on there and he can sure as hell fight. No, oh, Kenny, make no mistake, has, loves to have a fun time. Loves to be the life of the party, but I mean, as with every individual, you push the buttons of Kenny Calypso and you rain on his party, so to say, he can come at you. Valdivia is a lone man in the ring, and well, he's going to bring the fight to the outside. Staying tall as Valdivia, but still Ooh. not anymore as Stone trips him up on the apron. Hardest part of the ring. Oh, Roger right there catching Stone as Stone was standing above Valdivia. This match is broken into chaos with fighting on the outside. Everybody just complete bad blood with one another, it seems. Solid concrete out there. There's just those thin mats out there. Kenny Calypso oh! diving with a tope suicida to the outside. Taking and all three out. All three men, and Kenny Calypso, the only one left standing. Calypso taking Valdivia now. Trying to get Valdivia into the ring. 
Valdivia rolls in. May not know where he's at right now, actually. Vinny Calypso sure knows where he's at. He's on fire right now. Vinny Calypso in control of this fatal four-way matchup with a kick to the midsection right there in Valdivia. Off the ropes goes Calypso with a scissor kick onto Valdivia. We've seen Kenny win matchups with that move. And we've also seen Kenny win with his frog splash he's about to do. It got, got the job done against Sid Bodie a couple of weeks ago. He's going up top. Oh. But, but Val Valdivia is right there to break it up. Oh, oh. Maximus Stone able to seize the opportunity of the misdirection and takes down Valdivia. But Wait there's Roger in now with the kick to the midsection on Maximus Stone. Could look, be looking for that impaler. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. What a brutal impaler! Oh. But Kenny Calypso's right there with the frog splash Very on the nice. high Roger cover. And Kenny comes away with a victory. Wow! But it was Kenny Calypso who came in for a frog splash right when Holy Roger, I mean, spiked Maximus Stone here right on his head. Kenny Calypso, as we saw him going up top for Valdivia, was tripped up on the ropes, but was still there laying in wait, if you will, and saw an opportunity to strike on Holy Roger and was able to come away with the victory. All four individuals looking for high impact moves, trying to finish it, but Calypso was the last one standing. And a fast and furious, high impactful, fatal four-way matchup here in Texas Contender Series 21. Kenny Calypso doesn't work by the hour, but coming up next, here on Texas Contender Series, 